15 and every Sunday, Pat Sullivan from Sullivan Hardware and Garden gives us great advice for do-it-yourself home improvements. Today, we find Pat hanging out in your utility closet. Oh, what month is it? Is it spring yet? Today, I'm sitting in the utility closet. There's nothing else to do. So I thought I'd come down here and look at the furnace and the water heater here. What can I do? Well, you know what? One thing you can do, this is when people get themselves in trouble, that, you know what? It's time to drain the water heater. So they hook up a hose, very simple. They open the valve, they run it over to the somper to the drain. They let that go for a while. They get depressed. They stand under a light trying to get some sort of spring thing going. And what happens sometimes, because if you haven't drained this water heater, it's full of calcium down here. And what happens when you open that valve, the calcium rushes to the valve and then plugs it. And then it drips and leaks. So here's the thing. If you haven't, if you haven't drained your water heater on a regular basis and it's four or five years old, I wouldn't start now. Now, if you're bored, hook a hose up to it. Just don't turn the valve on. Just hook a hose and stand there and look at it. But if you do and it starts dripping, what you can do is you can go to the store and get a three-quarter inch cap. So instead of messing with the valve, you just put a cap. You take the hose off and put a cap on there and that'll take care of it. So up on top, you know, sometimes you, you, if you think you smell something, you can do a little thing. If you, if you take a uh, match and blow, blow it out while this is on and see if it draws. You'll, you'll see the smoke kind of pull up there. That's just kind of an easy way to, to, to find out. Again, I'm trying to come up with things for you to do today. All right, over here in the furnace, you know what? Now that we're uh, well into, uh, if you have a humidifier, make sure if you haven't already done it, replace the pad because the efficiency of that humidifier is not going to be very good if this pad is clogged with calcium and, and buildup. So go to the store. That'll get you out of the house. Get out of your pajamas. All right, and you can do that. Filters are so important this time of year. Now, if you're using high efficiency filters like that and the house is dirty, I would replace them every couple months. The plain old fiberglass, same thing, although they're never going to clog. This particular furnace has one of the, the, uh, the big ones on it, and you can see how dirty that is. This is my neighbor Ted's house, and you can see how filthy that is because, you know, Ted never does anything. So we'll take care of that for him. All right, over here, come over to my sump pump. Right over here is the sump pump. Now, a sump pump, here's the thing about a sump pump, where a water heater, if it starts to go, it'll just start to leak and you go, hey, I need a new water heater. When a sump pump goes, it stops. And if it stops and you, this thing works, all of a sudden your basement is flooded and your college term paper ruined. So every three to five years, replace the sump pump. Don't wait until it stops. Replace it. And if your basement's finished, you should have a backup, a battery backup pump as well. So if, you, if nothing else, you can get these little cheapy alarms. And this is a little alarm that you just uh, uh, you put down on the floor. If it covers with water or, or it gets water underneath it, at least you'll hear a horn. So that's something, right? All right. So that's a couple of things you can do. Get dressed. You can't be in your pajamas all day long. we got to do something. And that's exactly where I'd hang out today. I was going to say, if I could sit around all day in my pajamas, I've been known to do it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> in your, or in your utility closet checking out the sump pump. Uh, not and, what I'm an expert at. But, but I do want to say, Pat, I recently changed my heater Good filter. Good for you. So I think he would be Good for, for you. Very